What's going on toy fans? Aaron here at Empire Toys 1138 and on this video we're going to go to the car boot sale and have a toy hunt. Okay guys, I'm back from the car boot sale. I have not watched any of the footage so hopefully they've got some stuff on camera better than last time when me and Dan went when I uh, missed some of the uh, good finds off uh, footage but I think I got some good stuff. So check out the video, uh, stick around, and we'll go through the toy haul after. No, the Power Rangers are a pound each, Rory. I'll do it for 10p. No, they're a pound each. You said that's why I paid for them. I only bought them a couple of years ago, and they stayed in the bloody box. Fridge for your bedroom. <laughs> so, a tenner each. Laptops. Yes. But you want a mini fridge for your bedroom? Yeah, I'm working on it, Mum. I'm working on it. Do you do three quid for all that? Yeah. Fine. Appreciate that. Easy. Helping towards his mini fridge. Mini I understand. Have you found in your wallet, mate? Yes, I have two pounds. Just put chocolate sweets in when he's on his Xbox. <laughs> Two pound, Don't blame you, mate. A couple of drinks in there. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, thank you very much. Do you no, the tenor tenor each. Each. They're not mine, they're my daughter's. She's like, I'm going to come back at the end of it. I'm just selling it for her. You'll probably have to wipe it. Yeah, you can. You selling any more figures, mate, or is it just them? Um, just wipe it. Just them? Yeah, nice, dude. What you got them? Two pound? Two pound each. Two pound each. Do three if I took the two. Oh, yeah, cheers mate. It's about Cheers, mate. Good job, mate. It's your box. How much you got on that? Yeah, I'll take that for a pound. You can shoot it. Yeah, it makes a noise, <laughs> doesn't it? There you go. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much, guys. Only one of those sets. How much you got on it? Oh, I don't know, maybe not for it. Three quids. Three quids. Okay. Two, two? No, that's worth three days. We haven't even made much of our table. And that explains we're getting serious. So a couple of pounds of red for a couple of pounds, that's about it.
Yeah, go on, I'll take it. Guys, uh, a good, decent uh, solo trip to the car boot sale. Uh, it was just me, so I made sure I had the camera rolling as much as possible. Hopefully got some good stuff. I found some cool stuff. It was a bit, uh, to begin with, it didn't look like it was going to produce. And then a few odds and sods here and there on a few stalls uh, made the day. So uh, we'll delve in and we'll start looking at some of the toys. So this is one of the first things I picked up. Now, they had a big box full of uh, Micro Machines and Action Fleet. Uh, Star Wars stuff. I didn't catch any of this on camera because it was really one of the as soon as I got into the car boot It was one of the first things I found uh, A lot of it was broken a lot of it was missing it weren't it looked good from a distance But when I started going through the box that actually it was more hassle than it was worth on my second walk around The box had gone so someone's obviously taken the gamble on it But when I went through it, I think I picked out the best there was one thing that I left which was gutting because it was missing one bit and that was the Action Fleet Slave one. Oh, and the second bit was the Action Fleet TIE Bomber, all missing parts, <clears throat> gutting, there's some cool stuff. Uh, but I took these two bits out of the box uh, and I think I pretty much took the best bits out of there. So we got the Dagobah Action Fleet X-Wing here. These are really great toys, really great models. Um, they, no Luke, no R2. But it does have all four guns, which uh, is amazing because a lot of them are missing the guns. So they come off and get lost very, very easily. The second was the Micro Machines Galoob Boba Fett playset. Uh, I never had the Boba Fett one when I was younger. So it's a cool addition. Um, again... It was the only one that was actually sort of complete, it was actually actually a um, whole head. A lot of them were just missing, oh, missing the front, all that sort of stuff. So I picked this one out, and Boba Fett's popular, very popular character, so uh, a decent one. And I think this one's quite difficult, I haven't actually seen this one around much. Normally you see the Imperial Guard, or Chewie, or uh, the uh, Pilot Luke, but uh, the Boba Fett one you don't see too often, so that was a cool find. Now directly opposite uh, this stall, I managed to find a couple of Power Rangers and some VR there. Uh, they had a few more Power Rangers, uh, but they were too, a bit too new for me. So I've got two Zeos in a VR Trooper. As you can see, the yellow Zeo I just popped one of the weapons in there, which was good. Uh, I don't actually have the yellow in this version, so I might keep this one, but I already have the green. Uh, I did ask him if they had any more toys, which they said, mm, I'm the nard about when I walk back. I, they did put some stuff out, but there was nothing extra here because they had some random bits. And normally when you find one-off random bits, like the Yellow Ranger weapon from the weapon set, uh, the Red Sword from the flip head, and the Blue uh, Lance, Arthur Lance from the flip heads, you sort of find these two bits, you think, oh, maybe there could be a bit more. Turns out there wasn't. Not the end of the world. Always good to have spare weapons. I think I'm on my way to uh, picking up odds and sods of these weapon sets, so hopefully I'll have a complete one very, very soon. After that, the boot fair went dry. It was rows, a few rows. It wasn't as big as it normally is, probably over halfway um, what it usually is. Uh, I guess people are probably still away with the, the kids for the holidays. Uh, but then I came up to one gentleman's stall who had some Action Force uh, boats, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, I was only going to pick these up if they were super cheap because uh, they are missing. I can tell straight off they're missing a load of bits. But it's just cool to find uh, the rubber of the boats are all intact and in very, very uh, good condition. And uh, they're just cool things. Like I, th I don't find much action f uh, force uh, at car boots, especially the vehicles. Uh, very rarely you'll find complete stuff. But... It was just cool to find, and like I said, because it was a bit dry, I thought, you know what, I'll pick these up, you know, just say no more, really. They're just cool. So after that, again, very dry, took a while to find anything decent. One of the very last aisles uh, I got to on my first walkabout, uh, I found this, which was an awesome find. Oh, batteries are gone. They worked earlier. No. Anyway, this is the Bob Hasbro Bob Effect gun. This is a very, very popular uh, gun. 
because a lot of people get it to paint it up to cosplay it it's really good uh, accurate it does fire it was firing when i bought it i think the batteries have just probably run out that was a great find it really was um sort of made this alone you might not think it but this definitely made the trip and some and then last but not least i picked up some boxed uh, micro machine star wars now sometimes i tend to leave these uh, i'm not too they're not too popular they seem to obviously hold a high price when people try and sell them and they aren't just that popular but the actual ships you've got the blockade runner or the Tantive 5 and uh, a star destroyer in there so they're probably two quite popular uh, ships in this set so uh, very very happy to find that has some banter with the uh, people selling which was uh, always a good fun and uh, yeah happy with that so a bit of a micro machine sort of day really one last thing before we move on to the bank holiday monday i know it's a bit late but i haven't shown it off yet the bank holiday monday haul uh, i actually found something in a charity shop now, that's very rare for me i don't go into charity shops too often sometimes if i'm in town I'll pop in have a look quick look but i'm not going in there religiously but i did find the mcfarlane evil dead ash um McFar yeah mcfarlane uh figure and as you can see there it was a pound happy days uh really happy with that obviously he's missing all these accessories but it's a cool find from a charity shop I, again like i said i don't really go into them so i don't really find much stuff so very happy with that on to the bank holiday monday haul now uh, i went to the car with me and my brother uh, again i just wasn't in the mood to film it i just wanted to go there have a chat with my brother just walk around just enjoy it uh, i wasn't actually expecting much normally i haven't had much luck on the bank holiday monday ones Normally not that popular, but this time around it was. And I think that's just down to the fact that the weather's been so poor recently. It actually produced a really good boot fare. But it didn't start out that way. So on the first aisle walk down, I thought this is just going to be it, really. Um, I managed to pick up an Optimus, well not Optimus Prime, a Autobot laptop sticker. Which I thought, do you know what? I saw it, I thought it was kind of cool. So I, I picked that up. At the same store, I picked up a load of these awesome Team America magnets. America. That was it. That was it. That was it. For ages. We didn't find anything. We chatted. We spoke. Uh, I picked these up from a stall because I thought, you know what? <laughs> I need to buy something to make the, the trip worth it. So I ended up buying some fairy tale anime books. Just to like, you know. I don't usually stick stuff on eBay, but I was like, oh man, I've got to like, you know, I've got to pay for my squirt, I've got to pay for my fuel, I've got to pay for the, the trip in, I've got to pay for my time. I say that like it's, I don't enjoy going to the car boots, I love them. But do you know what I mean? Like, I had to make the trip worth it. So I picked them up. Uh, I thought they, anime books were always a good sale, so I thought that was a good idea. And then it slowly started kicking off, and it slowly started getting a bit better and a bit better, and. I found this now I can't believe I found this because this was about uh, we when everyone was setting up we must have done the first three rows about four times just waiting for people to set up properly and all regular people that I see that sort of look for the same stuff you know the regular people that buy the resale and all that sort of stuff uh, I can't believe any of them left it and the reason why I think was because the lady had it underneath uh, like a clothing rack she, so she had loads of clothes set up and um, it was sitting underneath it managed to get the Indominus Rex. Well happy with that. I've picked a few of these up at the car boot, but I haven't picked this type up yet. I think this is the second version they brought out, because I'm pretty sure the first version had like a rubbery neck, if I remember rightly. But, oh, it's lighting up a little bit there, if you can see that. It's a bit temperamental, I think the batteries need changing. But it is a very, very cool dinosaur. Uh, Vic has typically laid claim to this, which is cool, you know. So that's going to go into her dinosaur collection, go along with her OG T Rex and the modern T Rex. So that's cool. And so because we're keeping it, I don't really care how much I'm going to, about saying how much it costs. Three pounds, absolute bargain. These are very, these aren't exactly a cheap toy to buy in the first place, and they still hold a decent. Uh, resale value so to get it for three pound it'll go to vic she'll love it it'll go in her collection happy days and i look like an amazing boyfriend 
again after that it was a long slug I ended up just because I already picked up some anime books I ended up picking up some Street Fighter um, Legends books they're pretty cool so I've uh, got number one two and three here they were selling some other books but they're all out they were, there wasn't like a continuation there was like a, a third version of something a fourth so I was only gonna pick them up if they were in a decent order so I got them don't know why I picked this up but some random person was selling uh, these kind of rubbery wrestlers which are kind of not really that popular but they're just kind of cool you know might hide it on one of the boys stalls at Sandown now after that again walked around for a while rose 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 not really finding stuff and then I was looking at one stall and my brother actually found this and um, he didn't really want it it was a bit too expensive for him but uh, I picked it up because I'm not gonna you're not gonna I'm not gonna retire on it but you know I know a lot of people are very popular about it but it was the uh, Evil Knievel Dragster and I believe a bootleg ET I'm sure this one's bootleg uh, but that makes it just a little bit cooler and it's actually a really good version if it's a bootleg but an Evil Knievel at the boot fair crazy now um, I know he's not in the best of condition he hasn't got his helmet his uh, um, V is ripped but the dragster is cool I think it's missing a it's bit there has been snapped um, I don't actually I haven't even had a chance to even look it up to see what it's missing but I know he's obviously missing his helmet make sure it's not hidden anywhere but really happy to find that a few people when I picked it up in my hand are a bit like oh evil can evil so um, got that really happy I know it's a very uh, brings a lot of nostalgia back especially to these sort of the older uh, collectors which is cool love it and uh, you normally see the bike, so you don't really see the dragster that much, so really happy with that. Off one stall, uh, really happy to grab uh, the plushy uh, facehugger from Alien. It's really cool. Uh, I've seen a lot of people when I've showed it on Instagram, uh, got kind of, ex sort of liked it. A few people have laid claim to it. Um, really, really cool piece. And also, sorry if that's really rusty, I've got this uh, with its tag, Remnants 2 Gizmo. Absolutely buzzing to find that. Again, that was quite late on in the day. I think I was on our second walk around. So, quite surprised so many people left it, unless the uh, people were just late set uppers. But yeah, £2. £2, I think. No, I didn't pay £2 for it. It worked out £2 with the uh, with the face hugger. That was £2 as well. So, really happy. Uh, buzzing. And then a few loose figs. Uh, again, just picking them out of rummage boxes. I've got this cool uh, lizard from Spider-Man, I've got a Star Lord from the MCU, and a, a Yondu as well, Happy with great that. rummage find, again, this was pretty much on the, this was like one of the first rows, but we did it last because the car was at that end of the car park, and that's where the toilets are, so again, I can't believe this was still sitting there, but I think it's Omega Squad Clone Commander, now these are quite hard to find. I've got a few clone commando spare guns, which even makes it even better because I can obviously give him the gun so he's a bit more complete. Now I have four of these already. Do I need a fifth one? Probably not. Uh, but still, real, real cool find at the car boot sale. Now, possibly my favourite find from the boot fair. And um, I don't know why it's probably my favourite. It's just a bit odd, a bit niche. It's awesome. Uh, I think they're Unibots, I think someone said they were called. Do you know what? I had it written down, and I've left the paper the other side of the room. But it's just this cool, like, me metal robot thing. And it's so bad. Look at that face. It's so janky, but it's just so cool. And it's just cool to find these things at, like, car boot sales, flea markets. Because they're just odd, and you just you just don't know what you're going to find. And that's that epitomises going to the boot fair. And going to the fleas because you don't know what you're going to find and you're just going to end up falling in love with the most tackiest of tack but it's cool well i find it's cool there you go guys that was my car boot sale hauls for the bank holiday and saturday which is today but i don't know if i'm going to post it saturday this might come out sunday whatever guys it'll come out when it comes out thank you very much for watching please whack a like down below whack a comment as well tell me what you thought about it you know what did you find did i miss anything you know people love to show off if they've missed anything and uh if you're not already subscribed please do so guys take it easy 
Hopefully we're going to get a brute fair tomorrow in, and uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Peace.